really had advise everybody in their 20s to get outside, go into nature, go travel, go do something that is not the norm. When you are passionate, when you're lit, when you're just excited about life, that's the thing that you know that you're actually going with the flow instead of paddling upstream all the time. All right, so um, I'm 31 years old and I was thinking about a lot of lessons that I learned in my 20s and the number one lesson that I learned in my 20s was that I needed to travel. I needed to get outside of like the normal thing, the normal rut that I was in. Um, you know, I started out in high school. I actually started working in high school. My first job was actually at a sandwich place called Togo's Sandwiches. <laughs> um, I was actually picking peaches and plums when I was 14 years old. That's technically my first job. It's just that was like a summer job in between. And then Togo's was like the first, you know, corporate job or whatever that I got when I was 17. And I, uh, you know, the public school system really did me well because I got right into a job and started working really hard. You know, it's exactly what public school teaches us. And the most valuable lesson, you know, for me in my 20s happened when I started getting outside of the norm. I started doing things, you know, against the grain that other people weren't doing at the time. And uh, so many of my friends were getting, you know, going to college, going talking about their degrees and who they wanted to become and all those things. And I was interested in something a little bit deeper. I was always curious about nature. I found myself really um, following a path that was very different than others. And it all started uh, with this one book. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, I do. It all started with this book right here, Autobiography of a Yogi. This book I actually read uh, right when I started taking a yoga and meditation class. Uh, this is the number one book that Steve Jobs had in his collection. It was actually his only book that he had on his iPad as well. And this book was, seriously was absolutely life-changing for me. I went from just having a normal you know, regular job and I started going to college and I was really into music and I was following my passion. I wanted to be some rock star and it wasn't until I read this book to everything changed for me. Yoga became more than just like stretching on a mat and things like that. This really opened me up to higher consciousness. It opened me up to the fact that we are spirit soul. We are way more than what you can perceive with your two physical eyes. We have been programmed uh, you know our belief systems our structured beliefs are coming from our environment and I was very much indoctrinated into the standard American diet and I was living a very toxic lifestyle uh, you know having jobs in the restaurants and different things that wasn't serving me at all so it wasn't until I read autobiography of a yogi um, let's see how old was I then I think it was 21 when I read Autobiography of Yogi, and that was the catapult that really drove me into my heart, really drove me into pursuing something greater than just a career, right? That word is even made up by man, like it has nothing to do with our potential, it has nothing to do with our soul and our real life essence. So I went traveling, I went all the way up to Alaska, I really wanted to find a place that was like really wild and free and very different than the you know California lifestyle that I'm used to is very based in consumerism and wasn't really making me happy all the you know I had a car right when I was 17 I was buying a lot of materialistic goods fancy computers different things and I wasn't happy at all so it wasn't until I got outside of my comfort zone it wasn't until I got into a new thought process which really created that happiness for me later on and I really had advise everybody in their 20s to get outside go into nature go travel go do something that is not the norm right so many people are stuck in these limitations and I just want to help you I want to you know really tell you what I've done in order to hopefully create those changes within yourself um 
<laughs> yoga is so much more than just, you know, stretching or even the word meditation is such a broad word these days. It wasn't until I had a meditation practice every single day. I was so inspired by autobiography of a yogi. I was so inspired by Yogananda's teachings that I started to really do this and pursue this as a path. And I was committed to this and I was dedicated. And now uh, looking back, I'm so grateful how all of that happened because that was the essence. That was the thing that gave me the confidence to travel and to go pursue a very alternative lifestyle. And that's really where I get all of my happiness to this day from my meditation practice, from the things that I do that are not the norm as what people might think it is, okay? Uh, for me, something as simple as being vegan, having a, a very plant-based diet, you know, is very abnormal in these current day and age. It's just, guess what? I'm getting all of the energy from that. I'm doing everything that I'm doing comes from going against the grain of the normal society. So don't be fooled. Don't be tricked into thinking that all that there is is that job or that partner or that car or whatever materialistic object is. Something much deeper inside you needs to be activated. And it's only going to happen when you go against the grain, when you start pursuing something that is beyond yourself, when you have aspirations that are greater than what you can even comprehend. Set yourself up for success. Get inside that place. Go into nature. Go to that uh, park, whatever it is, that mountain, that tree, something that just inspires you. When you are passionate, when you're lit, when you're just excited about life, that's the thing that you know that you're actually going with the flow instead of paddling upstream all the time. So many people are trapped in their own limitations. And to me, this starts in high school. It starts in those preteen years because that's where you get indoctrinated into this world. That's where you get indoctrinated on who you think you should be and have a career rather than just loving life. I mean, don't neglect your heart. I mean, that's what I can say in the simple aspect is stop neglecting your heart. Really put yourself in a place where you can thrive. This isn't going to happen by your parents. They're not going to do it for you. Your friends, your significant other, they're not going to do this for you. You need to take action now. Get yourself a, you know, a car that can go somewhere or get a plane ticket, one-way plane ticket to the most absolute beautiful destination you can comprehend and go and see what happens. You're going to have radical upgrades when you jump into your heart and you just go for it. It's not going to happen when you're just in your head controlling life. The universe always gives you what you want. When you're sitting there in the classroom or at your job and you're just in your head thinking, man, I wish I was in Hawaii. Man, I was, wish I was in the mountains. Man, I wish I was doing that other thing. You are separating yourself further and further from that thing that you're trying to create in this life. So, take action. Be the change right now. Create that new cycle. Get into the quantum realm. Create that shift right now. Step into your passion. Step into your desire system. That is the karma. That is something that I wish I would have started doing even younger, right? I started doing this when I was 19 or 20 years old um, and it really didn't really come fully as like a path for me until about the age of 21 or 22. I could have easily done that even younger. Um, it's just I had financial responsibilities, family responsibilities, different things. So I understand all of that. What you need to recognize is we are all doing the best that we can. And the answers are always going to be within the heart. It's not going to happen if you're just sitting on the sidelines letting life go by. So take action. Be that change that you want to see in your reality right now. Create that shift and watch everything change instantaneously. That's really what the magic is in life. Start doing this now before your 20s just go right by. I know my 20s went so fast. All I do is look back and be like, man, I could have traveled more. I could have gone to China. I could have gone to Japan. I could have gone to India. I could have done all these things. You don't want to get stuck in those shoulda, woulda, couldas, right? I am so happy that I actually took action when I did otherwise I might be that person who's stuck at that dead-end job right now so thankful for the universe I'm thankful for all of this divine timing with everything e recognize that everything is absolutely perfect and once you set yourself up for success once you put your place put yourself in that place where you're gonna thrive 
It's all going to be there for you, right in front of your very eyes. This doesn't happen by force or any effort. It all happens by what you do in life. It's all happening based on your experiences. So inject some love, inject some goodness into your life by pursuing those passions, really following your excitement rather than what looks good on paper. That's my best advice. That's all I got for you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Until next time, much love.